breaking news for US Assembly aspirants. ERAS is completely overhauling the research section for match 2027 applicants. First, we will go over why this is happening. Second, what are the five specific changes that are going to happen? And lastly, I'm going to reveal at the end surprise. So the reason this is happening is because for years, match applicants have been gaming the system, turning one project into five ERAS entries. The result, program directors had no idea what applicants had actually accomplished versus how creatively they listed the same project. And now that is changing. The first update is that publications becomes scholarly work with strict rules. You can now only list peer-reviewed publications, poster abstracts, and conference presentations in this section. No more blog posts or non-peer-reviewed content. The second change, multiple conferences now count as one research item. If you presented the same project multiple times, it's now a single entry, one project, one item, no more inflated research counts. Third, you'll now be asked to flag your top three meaningful projects, helping program directors know what to ask about while letting you showcase depth, not just volume. Fourth, ERAS introduces scholarly collections. If one research project led to a poster, a book chapter, and a journal article, you'll now group them as one collection, showing dedication, continuity, and genuine contribution. And fifth, a new tagging system brings role clarity. You'll tag your role clearly, first author, or were you just co-author, no more confusion about the level of involvement. Lastly, what is not changing? There's still no cap on how many research items you can list, as in you will see with the experience section, which means the quality versus quantity research arms race will continue.